Let's now practice just how easy it is to decode our payloads from within our JWTs in JavaScript. We provided the boilerplate to parse our JWTs in this, in this concept. Let's go ahead and copy that and open our inspect view in Chrome. Navigating to our console and pasting in that function makes that function accessible within, makes that function accessible within the scope of that console. We can now, let's grab that JWT we've been using from auth0, and now let's parse JWT and pass it in as a string to this method. This provides our JavaScript object. If we were to be using this within the JavaScript files of our actual client, we could easily assign this to, let's say, a JWT variable, and then access that variable as needed throughout our application.